This is the before and after edit side by side of the composite I'm going to go over today. The beautiful little subject in the photo is my niece, Madison Stone. The first step is to select the spot healing brush tool and literally just brush away the model out of the picture. The next step is to copy and paste the background photo onto the main picture. And of course, the key to compositing is going to be matching up the tones, the colors, and the lighting, which is why I'm going to use curves to darken the background copy layer. And then I'm going to create a layer mask on that layer, use the paintbrush tool to erase away so the subject can show through, then hit X on my computer so that we're painting back in. And I'm just going to paint back in around the subject and then I'll match up the tones even better when I'm done with the composite, which really didn't take that long, probably 20 minutes at the most. Here I am using curves again to this time brighten up the subject, brighten up my niece, just to match up with the background. Then I'm literally just going to paint in a shadow with the paintbrush tool with black paint and 10% opacity, 100% flow. That's just the before and after of painting in the shadow. Then I'm using curves again to brighten up the background and add more contrast to match with my subject. Then I'm going to use free grass brushes that I downloaded from the internet with a green color obviously to paint in the grass. Just clicking that layer on and off and then I'm going to Photoshop in a balloon that was already kind of blurry when it was taken so it'll match up with the depth of field, create my layer mask, erase away with a very soft brush and then I'm going to use this stock photo to bring in a photo of balloon strings. It was the only decent one I could find that would work in this situation. Thankfully her hand was posed in such a way that it was easy to Photoshop in the string. Now I'm going to bring the image back into Lightroom where the last step is to do the color toning with Sivotic presets and then I'm going to use a sunball light overlay to add a little bit of light at the top of the photo and then I'm going to add a dust filter with linear dodge as a blending mode to kind of add an old film aesthetic to the photo and then I'm using a white color selective adjustment layer to add more cyans and more green colors to the whites. Once again here's the original image and here's the edited image. I love the grain, I love the colors, I love her expression, I love that she's looking at the camera which is not always easy. Send me your edits and I'll feature them in my Instagram stories. Thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe so you don't miss any more and I'll see you guys for the next video.